Hey everyone, welcome to Let's Play Mountain Blade Warband. Um, I'm not going to quit on Bertha's story, but, um, well, this has enough. This is only over the last two weeks, so, um, I spent a lot of time in this game and I learned a lot of it, so, as you can see, it's some sort of compilation, so, um, I'm going to play a male character because my other character is, um, uh, I mean, I'm going to play a female character because my other character is male. Um, and the modification I'm using is displayed on the next screen, which is, if it launches, this, the S&D Polish Native Collection. I'm going to link it in the description as well. Um, I'm playing it and I'm loving it. And um, one of my regular viewers, uh, Lieutenant General Store, also plays it... Uh, and we both really like it, so... Um, well, yeah, this modification adds some a extra bonuses to the game, so... And as you can see, one of the first is that you're able to assemble all the NPC companions in the first tavern. So, I'm going to do that. So... I'm... I'm able to start with some of the guys I I could really use uh, early in the game. So okay, um, I'm going to start as a female, as I said. It is a backward society, so it has more um, perks to it. I think that's the word. Anyway, it's harder to do. I'm going to um, since I'm usually uh, focusing on two-handed weapons I'm going to create an archer this time and an arching commander so one who won't be in the uh, front lines of the battle but at the back commanding the folks um, uh, shop assistant and she went to university Yeah, I think. Let's see, what's the lady in waiting doing? Um, mm, tightly knit circle of women at court? No, fuck off, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not. I'm going to make a troubadour because this should uh, boost my ag agility, this should boost my trade skills and this should boost my charisma which is needed for leadership and um, trade personal revenge uh, this also brings some extra uh, stats but I don't know why so you know I'm going to take wanderlust and see what we'll end up with um, this will bite me in the ass. Uh, okay. Um, I am going to focus on trade. Like here. So I need charisma for that. So I'm going to boost that with one. And I'm going to... Should I boost my agility or charisma some more. You now I'm going to boost my charisma and agility and intelligence will follow later. Um, so let's boost these. Um, I'm not going to invest in training. I'll get one of the NPCs for that. Same with wound treatment, surgery, etc. I do go to po invest one point in surgery so I have synergy with the um, Jeremus, which is the um, surgeon NPC, and I'm also going to put one point in training, so I have synergy with the other. No, let's do that again. Okay, let's boost this one. Um, let's boost trade and leadership. Prisoner management not really necessary. Pathfinding is uh, quite okay. Okay, nice. So we have a fast party right from the start. 
or at least a faster party than usual. Um, okay, one point in. No, not engineering. One point in surgery. Should I do this? No, I'm going to put points in power draw and horse archery. And invest a lot of points in archery. And now we have to think of a name. Um, right. Let's see what I'm able to think of. Mm, I'm, I'm just going to look at my CD collection and see if I see some female name which some I somehow like. Mm. And yeah, well... <laughs> Yes, I have Enya in my CD collection. I don't care, Allison. I see a CD of Goldfrap in here, but <laughs> it's quite hard to find female names in a CD collection full of metal and other noise shit. <laughs> um, Allison. Stone wall, stone. There we go. I'm just going to randomize a bit. Wow, derp! <laughs> Holy shit! What's how up with up with her face? Herp a derp. Let's. Mm. Well, she's a stepchild, so... Yeah, let's go for this. Yeah. Let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. Um, I'm going to start in Rodox, even though you'll end up in one of the toughest... Um, mo neutral mobs to fight, which are the Mountain Bandits. Then again, the alternatives are um, Forest Bandits, which are weak, so... This is a safe start, and although mountain bands are pretty safe as well, I think, because these are uh, sea raiders, these are uh, step bandits, which are mounted bandits, or are these uh, sea raiders? Anyway, I'm going to start in Rodos. These are have mountain bandits as well, so. Um, you always start this fight, the the game with uh, being ambushed by someone or some what? Come on, show your ugly face. That's one. Let's make sure he can't shoot me. Wow! Point blank. So, okay. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, this is a small cabin. Where the hell are we, by the way? Yeah, in his home, apparently, but... Apparently, it's a merchant in wool cloth. Um, my idea for the... Yeah, it really is a small house. Anyway, my idea is that I'll start as a merchant, so I get some uh, money. And join one of the factions, and I think I'm going for one of the factions in the um, outer reaches. Uh, yeah. Okay. His brother is, has been kidnapped by uh, Bennett, so I have to grab him, or I have to save him. Uh, let's see, how much money do I have? 200, that isn't much. That isn't much at all. Um, okay, uh, looters, I'm not going to fight those. Uh, let's go to Ibdili's. And hopefully I won't get captured in the meanwhile. To Rodok. Uh, uh, 
pro of the Rodox is that they have really awesome archers. For uh, the best cavalry in game you need to get Swadian Knights and the North um, these are the North right? No these are the North yeah these are the North. The North Huskarls are the best infantry so I do try to get those and later in the game you're able to create your own troops as well once you have your own kingdom okay let's go to Chile Chile whatever um, looks a bit French though so I think it's Chile or something um, how much money do I have? 140 I should be able to start some trade with it um, let's see what they have in Jogla I'm not going to join the um I'm not going to go into the tavern just yet. I want to have some money so I can so I'm able to hire the uh experts. Um let's see what they have in the marketplace. Yep, goods merchant. Okay, this is <laughs> really expensive. Hey, they have smoked fish for um not much. You can sell these for uh quite a good price in the um back you can smell these for quite a nice price over here in the uh, Sultanate the Serenade Sultanate which are is pre some sort of Arabian uh, faction and preferably over yeah I can go to Durkaba um, Amarat or Barija which is where the be best prices are given for this but the problem is they are deep in desert territory so I have the so I'm probably being captured by um, desert bandits before I reach them huh. talking about the serenades they just joined the treaty they just uh, started the treaty with the ah with the Swadians hey Trimbo in the in the other faction um, I have um, oh there's a feast going on so I can't um, join that in the other faction that's one of my lords since uh, the Rodok has been de defeated in that uh, game and the Trimbo guy is uh, one of my vessels Sherry's okay let's see what they pay for the fish over here and <laughs> that isn't much uh, that isn't much uh, profit no. only 160 uh, so only 20 per profit hmm Heights are pretty cheap, I guess. Then again, so's the wool. Um, you know what? I'm going to take the risk and go more inland. Maybe they're able to sell it. Uh, I'm able to sell it over here in Hallmar for a better price, which is part of the. Uh, Kurgit Kanat, which is some sort of Mongol um, the Mongol Empire uh, setting or faction. Okay, let's go to the marketplace. What do they give for f even less? Bitches. Okay, um, and then again from here it's slightly easier to get to. Okay, no, 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 no. Ooh, I made it. Oh, by the way, as you can see, um, I'm able to fast forward uh, through traveling, which can be done by hitting control and the spacebar at the same time. Um, okay, let's go to the marketplace and bastards. And they don't. Ah, uh, oh crap! They they do have fish over here, so. The life of a merchant is hard. 
okay I pa woo, I passed a um, desert nomad uh, hideout and they didn't catch me or no one was near me or something fuck off they have it oh well still more than the best price I could get at the moment so um, I could buy iron here and sell it in iron is pretty cheap here but I can could sell it over here in Tulga and that's about 200 profits but I won't risk that at the moment okay they are uh, running from him that's good so if I stay near him he wa uh, they won't attack me let's go to the marketplace okay w you know I'm going to sell this iron anyway I'm going to sell one bar head back leave and um, join this guy oh no he's heading the wrong way okay let's go to Samara Hoba Is this a reference to the Finnish chef chat company or? I'm not sure. I don't want to know. It doesn't, I don't care. Uh, Homar. Please give me some nice profit margin on this. Good merchant. 100 profit. It isn't much, but still, it's better than the 140 I started with. So. Salt is mm, relatively expensive over here. Um, no, I'm not able to afford this. Um, I could make some 80 profit on that as well, so I'm going to take that with me. Um, how much stuff do I have in my inventory? Let's go to Dirim. I don't worry as much over the um, bandits in this area because they are, I think, only looters or something, or forest bandits. At least they're, they're not that strong. So let's go to the marketplace. Goods merchant, 244. And cheap iron. Uh, you must pay 100 denar. You know, I could get 60 for that. Do I have any cheap food? Yeah. Like this. Maximize profits. That's too much. Then again, this is better. So, I'm really lucky that I haven't been kidnapped yet. So, um, and it's great to have cheap. Uh, let's go to Flucha. I'm not sure if it's Cha or Ska or whatever, but it's a mishmash of uh, stuff anyway. Okay, um, let's go to the marketplace and. Oh, then again, I, I bought them 400. Here, 800. And we started with nothing. Okay, what do they have? They have lots of fruit here. Grapes. You know, um, once I get more um, money, you're able to... This is one of the things the mod adds. You can um, take... Lo they have a banking system in it in this mod collection. I d I'm not sure which mod it does but I do like it and I use it a lot in uh, later in the game and there's a new option with uh, Guildmaster this is in the native game as well but you can uh, buy land for a productive in enterprise and since there were a lot of grapes here I'd go for this one a winery so but that requires an investment of uh, 5000 dinar so which I don't have at the moment 
As a matter of fact, how much money do I have? Oh, 850. Nice round number. Um, let's go to the goods merchant. I think I should be able to get a nice profit on the grapes, but... Um, yeah. Wine is usually a good investment as well, but it's more risky. I'm going to try for the grapes. Maybe I, I'm able to make some profit on this one. And hopefully my whole army doesn't eat. Okay, one, I'll, I'll probably lose one stack to uh, eating the consumption for the army or the warband I have. Hey. I'm not going to recruit mounted uh, patrols. Because they are, first of all, they are quite expensive. And second of all you can't upgrade them and I'd rather have the um, and I'd rather have the um, uh, how, what do you call it upgradable troops since I want to go to the uh, Rodok uh, crossbowmen which are the best in game okay I'll probably get some um, misogynic uh, comment or something or that I'm supposed to be in a kitchen or something like that well not that not that, that rude but oh it isn't too bad but over here you can um, answer with these uh, snide remarks and end in the jewel and you can get a achievement for that which I already have so um, I'm not going to bother with that because I'd like to have some uh, support early on in the game so okay I leave bye okay thanks bye okay let's go to Jokla and hopefully I'm able to sell the grapes for a small profit okay let's go to the marketplace and crap that's not a profit that's even worse um, guess I made my first business faux pas let's go to Axel and see if they're able to hand me more money let's go for the marketplace goods merchant crap guess I paid too much for it um, I could pick up some folks over here in uh, Swedia as well Damn, the oil is cheap over here. This is usually around two, three hundred. So, okay. I'm going to restore the profit, uh, even though, if, even if I don't make the money I hope I'd make. Oh wait, the. then it was still better over here I guess uh, let's go to Suno and I was pointing I was checking out the stack which um, all the time which is being eaten no not you look the last stack of uh, a series is the one which is getting eaten so okay I make a small loss on this unfortunately 550 but wait a minute wasn't it just cheaper bastards
okay you really have to know what you're doing <laughs> and I do have some experience with it but I'm doing it wrong I fail okay um let's head back we're nearing the 30 minute mark as well so I'm going to make these episodes of about 30 minutes so um, you know what I'm going to grab myself some um, Swedian volunte volunteers to train my first uh, knight as well um, Let's see, what do they have around here? The goods merchant. Yeah, cheap bread, but I don't need the bread. I could try it. It won't be much of a profit, but I could try it. Um, let's go to... Veluccia. Okay, um, marketplace. Uh, Mild profit, I guess. Moment where they're eating is. Well, I do get over 500 for it, but still it isn't much. Uh, I'm not going to buy those grapes. I made a mistake of... Um, I made it that mistake already. I'm going to exchange these two, so that won't one won't get eaten. Um, let's go to Jalkala and sell whatever I have and hire one of the first companions I'm able to get okay let's go to the marketplace, goods merchant how much bread do they have? too much could sell this crap as well but you know what I'm going to do that uh, fish is really cheap, cheap around here so You know, I'm going to make another round of for the fish. They were it was pretty cheap ra uh, around here, so let's go to Let's try the rim again. Okay, good. They are I prefer not to end up s uh, somewhere in the middle of a war. Okay, let's go to the marketplace and some profit. Um, see, I have some profit, but I'm going to no, I'm going to take three of these bars, head back, and. Go to Jokala. And we'll ep end this episode over there. Hopefully with a small profit. Um, no, I'm not going to buy horses. I'm going to sell these. Ta-da! Profits. Okay, um, well, thank you for watching, and hopefully, you'll join me next time as it gets more interesting. <laughs> so, my apologies for the slow start, but, well, yeah, you have to start somewhere. Bye!